Good morning, guys. Uh, Mr. Middleton here. Today we're going to talk about simplifying radicals. Um, today's lesson will deal with just with numbers. So if you want to think of it like the normal radicals, and we'll evolve through this chapter of being able to um, deal with variables and multiplication rules and addition rules and um, solving even radical equations. But we'll start off um, by I'm just simplifying radicals with numbers. So into this lesson you should be able to, to simplify radical expression um, using numbers. Um, we'll talk about using the number tree um, and then I'll show you um, kind of how that relates to the largest perfect square or using the largest perfect square kind of how they're interrelated because I know that some um, people will prefer that method later down the road. Um, <coughs> but we'll get to all of that. Okay. So, radical expressions first. It's just an expression that contains a radical. So, some examples here. We've got 2 radical 3, or um, the square root of x plus 3, or 2 square root 3, if you want to say that instead for the first term. Okay. Square root radical, um, kind of inter interchangeable. Okay. And so we simplify radicals by removing perfect square factors. Okay, we simplify radicals by removing perfect square factors, so it's going to be important for you to be able to recognize perfect square factors pretty quickly. Here is a list of numbers that you should know. Okay, now I wrote them on two lines, but because I have no foresight, but you guys should write it on one line. Okay, I know I have it written on two lines, but write it on one line. That's how I'll be able to tell that you really listen to this video. Okay, so um, one squared, two squared, three squared, four squared, five squared, six squared, seven squared, eight squared, nine squared, all the way up to 15 squared. I think these are the numbers that you should be able to remember um, and recognize um, and be looking for as we're doing these problems, okay? So have those down to memory. Um, if you should have up to 11, probably 12, probably right now, so I'm really only asking you to add three more to it. Okay, remember again, write those on the same line, um, and that'll be my way to check and make sure that you um, did your notes correctly by listening to me and not just by um, taking a screenshot at the end. Alright, so these are the perfect square factors. We're going to be looking for those as we simplify radicals. Okay. Now, we can simplify radicals be because of the multiplication properties of radicals. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to find the factors of um, the radicals that we're asked to simplify and take out the largest uh, perfect squares that we can. Okay. And this is what I mean. Um, we, we're going to simplify by doing the number tree. Okay. Radical 54, I can write this a different way of using multiplication. I can rewrite radical 54 as 9 times 6. Okay. Because both of these numbers are in, inside the radical, I can multiply them together and 9 times 6 is 54. But radical 9 times radical 6 is radical 54. So I'm not changing the number, I'm just separating it to help me um, write it in simplest radical form. Okay, Simplest radical form says I shouldn't have any perfect square factors underneath my radical. Okay, When I separated this, radical 9, notice that 9 is on our list of perfect squares. Okay, 9 is radical 3 times radical 3. Okay, And I'll do this with the, the radicals. Radical 3 times radical 3. Okay, 6 is radical 3 times radical 2. And this is how I want you to think of this. In order to come, so this looks like a roof, right? This radical looks like a roof. Okay, in order to get out of the house, you have to have a date, somebody you're compatible with. Okay, you have to find one. So these threes found a date. They have somebody who they're compatible with. I have threes that are, no, that are now, they get to leave. They get to go outside. Okay. All right, radical three and radical two are here. They're both inside, but they're not compatible. Okay. So they're going to stay inside. They're not going to go out. Okay. When we leave those together inside of our radical, we'd have 
we don't just say three times two, we, just, we actually multiply them. Radical three times radical two is radical six. Okay, so radical 54 simplify is three radical six. Okay. Now this method that we use to simplify this is called the number tree. Or a factor tree is what I call it, okay? And it's because it just looks like trees and branches as you go the further you go down. Okay, there's a benefit to using the number tree, and that's that. Um, you can just choose any two numbers that you know multiply to give you this. You can keep going. And in the end, when we're done, we can find out all the factors and find all the matches. Another way that people like to do it is by taking the largest perfect square, or maybe even looking at this number, and dividing it by the numbers in the list of um, perfect squares and seeing what's the largest one that divides evenly into it. Okay, Either way works. Um, I tend to like the radical tree better than finding the largest perfect square because um, there's less thinking involved. I'm able to do the problem, um, I think, a little bit faster. But um, if you find the largest perfect square, again, I found the largest perfect square in this problem without necessarily going out and looking for it. Nine was the largest per per um, perfect square. And so when we did that, we have three radical six. Okay. Either way is fine with me. I'll show the number tree. If you have another thing that you want to do, I'm, I'm able to help you out with that as well. Okay, so we got radical 192. Um, we've got to simplify this. What goes into this problem? Um, 1 plus 9 plus 2. I know it's divisible by 3, so I'm going to divide this by 3. Okay, 3 and... 64. Okay. On all these problems, I could continue to write these radicals because that's the reason that we can do this. Um, method is that radical 3 times radical 64 is radical 92 and kind of showing that it's the same. But I usually just write the numbers out. Okay. Anytime I get a number that's prime that I can't work off of, I just circle. Okay. Because that means that branch of the tree is dead. But when I can continue to go, I'll find out. Um, just another pair of numbers that multiplies to give me this number until it's dead as well, or until I find a pair. Okay, 64, I notice, recognize that it's in my list of perfect squares. So, 64, that's 8 times 8. Okay. And I'll circle that too, because I don't have to keep going down to, to as far as I can go, because I know that I'm looking for a pair. These 8's have a pair, and so I know it will be on the outside. I have no other numbers to worry about or like break down, and three is left without a pair. Okay, so three remains inside the radical. So radical 192 is actually a radical three. Let's show that out here. Okay. Okay, there are other paths that you could have taken to get to this answer. You could have divided by two all the way until you couldn't divide by two anymore. And found all the pairs of twos, but in this case, again, I recognize it was divisible by three, and kind of looked out to see 64 there. All right, so let's deal with radicals when um, we have a number on the outside already. Okay, the number on the outside doesn't really change anything for our method of um, simplifying the radical, but we do have to remember it um, towards the end. So, kind of small underline that. Let's worry about this radical. What multiplies to give me 200? Well, I can say um, 10 times 20, let's say that. Okay, and I'll break this down. This gives me 5 and 2. And this gives me 5 and 4. Okay, 2 is a prime number. I'm not going to be able to break that down anymore. 5 is a prime number. I'm not going to be able to break that down anymore. 5 is a prime number, I'm not going to be able to break that down anymore. 4, I can break down to 2 and 2. Okay. Alright, so now here's what I have. I have this 3 that's already on the outside. And on the inside, I have a lot of numbers, so I'm going to write them all together under here. I have 5 times 5, so check those off, times 2 times 2 times 2. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, good. 
and now I'm going to take my pairs out. I have a pair of fives, it goes on the outside. I have a pair of twos, they go on the outside. And I have this two that's left inside. So outside of my radical, I have the three that we started the problem off with. I have the pair of fives that we took out. And I have the pair of twos that we took out. And inside it's a two. And since all these numbers are outside, I do 3 times 5, which is 15, times 2, which is 30. So I have 30 radical 2. And that's my final answer. Okay, if you haven't already, try to pause this and do it on your own, and then see how um, your answer measures up against mine. Okay, I think we'll say 2 and 54. 54 is 9 and 6, 9 breaks down to 3 and 3, 6 breaks down to 3 and 2, prime, 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 prime. Alright, so outside I have 5, 3, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, okay. So then I take out my pair, got a pair of 3's got a pair of twos and so five times three times two with this three inside five times three is fifteen times two is thirty oh well that's thirty radical three i didn't expect those to be such close numbers okay all right so this is finding um simplifying radicals with numbers okay using the number tree Remembering that um, we break down our number by finding factors here, looking for perfect squares as we come out. Um, if we can't find the perfect squares, then we are able to um, take our factors and pair them up. Any number with a factor goes to the outside. Any number without a factor stays or without a partner stays inside. When they go outside, you multiply them. If they stay inside and they're two separate numbers, you multiply them. Okay, we'll work on some more problems like this um, tomorrow. All right, have a good one.